Hi. So today let us understand how do we calculate coefficient of correlation. Now for this we'll just consider this simple table. Now this table represents the marks of maths and science of five students in a particular class. So what I have to do is I have to find whether the marks of the maths and science subjects are correlated to each other. I means if they are correlated it means that if the student is good in maths then he is good in science that is correlation and when we have no correlation then if he is good in maths that doesn't mean that he is good in science or he is bad in science so that is no correlation now for this what we do is we calculate karl pearson's coefficient of correlation that is r now the first step what we have to do is is we have to represent this information in a vertical table so we'll represent it like this so once we have done this representation now we have to name two variables one is for maths and one is for science we name maths as x and we'll name science as y now the next three columns represents x into y x square and y square now these are the marks of maths and science in the next column we have to multiply the marks that is x into y so that gives you all these values once you get these values then we have to take the square of the x square of the marks of maths so we'll get the next column and the next column represents the square of the science marks that is y square once you have completed the table what we need is to calculate r is the addition of all these columns so once i add all these columns x the addition of x comes to 30 that sign summation represents addition okay addition of all x okay. so we have got the addition of all these values once you have done that we will note these values separately now i'll just read this once you have noted these values now we starts your all the set of formulas which you remember which you need to remember to calculate r the first comes the mean i guess you have heard about the mean before right so mean is what simple average of the numbers so mean of x is calculated by summation of x upon n n is the number of students which we have taken so summation of x is 30 30 by 5 that comes to 6 similarly we calculate the mean of y okay so this is the simple thing now comes a new thing which you haven't heard before that is the covariance now how do you calculate covariance the formula for the covariance is the covariance is equal to 1 by n or summation of xy upon n minus x bar y bar now what is exactly covariance that is not related to the subject much because you don't have a in depth analysis of covariance we are only concerned with correlation coefficient so we'll not go in that first we'll just calculate the covariance according to the formula summation of xy we'll just substitute all the values which i have already calculated summation of xy the value of n is y minus x bar into y bar so calculating i get the covariance once you have done that next comes the standard deviation now what is the standard deviation now this is a little important topic standard deviation now standard deviation basically means how widely the values are scattered consider these values simple values now these values are not widely scattered they are just scattered from 4 to 6 right in between that so the standard deviation for these values is quite less whereas if you see the second set of values the standard deviation is the values are widely scattered the standard deviation for these values will be more okay so that is basically standard deviation now how do you calculate standard deviation this is using this formula okay the standard deviation of x s sub x x is given by root of summation of x square summation of x square which i have already calculated upon n minus x bar square x bar means the mean which you have calculated so i can substitute all these values and i'll get the standard deviation of x as 2 similarly we calculate the standard deviation of y as well so once you have calculated all these values now comes the correlation coefficient that is r the value of r is given by covariance upon standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y we just have to substitute all the calculated values in this formula and once you substitute we get the value of r so the value of r comes to 0.909 now what is the significance of this value 
the more closer this value is to 1, the more correlated the variables are. Now you can see this value 0 0.9 is very much close to 1. This means that the marks of maths and marks of science are highly correlated to each other. It means if the student is good in maths, there is a very high chance that he is good in science as well. Okay. So this is the basic significance of this value of R.